Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve the D3DX9 underscore 30 dot DLL is missing error you're experiencing on your Windows computer. So if for some reason you are experiencing this error alert, maybe it's the first time you've received this pop-up or you're trying to run a new application and you're experiencing this issue, this tutorial will be for you. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. And we're going to start by opening up the start menu. And you want to type in folder option. One of the best managers should say file explorer options. You want to left click to open up that selection. And now you want to left click on the view tab up at the top. And now underneath hidden files and folders, you want to select show hidden files, folders, and drives. So select that option and then click on apply and OK. Once you've done that, I'd recommend opening up a web browser. It doesn't matter which one you open up, but you want to navigate over to google.com here. And once you're onto Google, you want to type in d3dx9 underscore 30 dot dll download. And you want to hit enter. One of the best managers should be for a site that says dll slash files dot com. You want to make sure you're downloading it directly from the site that I'm going to be showing in this tutorial today. So again, dll files dot com. And the web page should resemble this. So you want to go down to the available version, so you want to scroll down a little bit. There should be two available versions, a 64-bit and a 32-bit version of this DLL file. Since most people are going to be running a 64-bit version of Windows, we're going to select the 64-bit download that corresponds to that. So I'm going to just click on the download button in orange here with a hyperlink. should begin the download process and you should also have it export in a zip compressed file format. So once the zip file is done, just want to left click on it once to open it up. And I'm just going to left click on the DLL file in this containing folder here and just drag it over to the desktop. Once it's on the desktop, I'm going to close it out of the folder here. I'm going to open back up the start menu and type in computer. One of the best managers should say this PC. I'm going to just left click on that one time to open it up. And now you want to go underneath whatever disk Windows is installed on. It should be a little Windows icon above a hard disk, and it should likely say local disk and whatever your drive letter is. So in my case, it's my local disk, which is my C drive as well. So I'm going to double click to open that up. And now I'm going to double click on the Windows folder. Now you want to look for a folder that says System32 right here. Once you've located it, you want to take the DLL file on our desktop. You want to left click on it and drag it over to the System32 folder. You want to release it once it's hovered over the System32 folder and it says move to System32. And you might need to provide administrator permissions, so select continue if you're prompted to do so. Keep in mind if you're running a 32-bit version of the operating system, you want to look for a folder that says syswow64. So SYSWOW64, all in capital letters. And instead of dropping into the System32 folder, you want to drop it into that respective folder. Now, most people in today's day and age are probably going to be running a 64-bit version of the operating system, so that's probably not going to be an issue for you guys. So most people are going to be following along exactly for what I did in this tutorial to the T. So I do hope that once you have put this in the folder, you, you close out of any open programs or applications you have on your computer. If you want to change your folder options back to hidden, which was the first thing we did in this video, you're more than welcome to reverse that. And I would recommend restarting your computer and then try and relaunch any applications you were experiencing this issue with before. And hopefully they have been resolved. So as always, thank you guys for watching this tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.